Donald J. Trump, 45th resident of the United States. Welcome or welcome back to my webpage, Undercover Lies. The only place you'll get the skinny on Dictator Trump. Guess what, folks? An inside source has stated that Trump has flushed himself down the toilet. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes our correction. Sorry about that. We see reports from an inside source that during a potty training session, Trump was caught in the act of throwing his incriminating documents and any other official records down the toilet. Speaking of things that should be flushed, let's talk about some of Donald Trump's loyalists. And while I'm talking about these people, remember that they are all senators that we voted on to go up there and protect the Constitution, so are North to protect the Constitution, so remember, keep that in mind. These cultists, as I call them, would rather have a dictator in charge because they can't seem to do or decide anything for themselves. They would rather see us in a civil war than admit that they are following an imbecile maniac known as Orange Face Trump, a dictator wannabe who six states are attempting to ban and therefore end his bid at another Trump administration. So let's look at the Trump cabal. First and foremost, we have Mitch McConnell. And you know who he is. Mitch McConnell. Yeah, that guy. He was once uh, Trump's most fervent follower, and uh, he would do whatever the ex-president asked of him. But now he says that there was an insurrection on January 6th and that the MAGA and QAnon followers were there to support Trump. Huh, what a change from this guy. Funny now, we're giving credit for something the old ghoul should have done over a year ago, but I guess better late than never. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell uh, poked his head out from under his shell to counter that statement, <laughs> offering this very matter-of-fact assessment of what it was. It was a violent insurrection for the purpose of trying to prevent the peaceful transfer of power after a legitimately certified election from one administration to the next. That's what it was. Next on our list of uh, crazy people is uh, a loyalist of Trump, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, a real crazy uh, patriot. Not. She's so crazy, she calls the Gestapo the gazpacho. Thing is completely out of control. Not only do we have the D.C. jail, which is the D.C. gulag, but now we have Nancy Pelosi's gazpacho police. She's also credited with saying that the Jews had uh, fired a laser from space and caused the 2018 California wildfires. This woman is out there, real crazy. We've got to get rid of her. Georgia, I don't know what you're doing out there. Another Trump loyalist, a woman named Lauren Boebert from Colorado. She's a Republican, of course. Uh, she loves to carry her gun and shows her kids carrying guns. This woman he's gotten rid of real quick. She's one of Donald Trump's most fervent followers. She would do anything that dictator Don tells her to do. Another gun-toting crazy from North Carolina, a real supporter of Donald Trump. His name is Madison Cawthorn. He, of course, he's a Republican. His own state is trying to keep him from running in this year's election, using the 14th Amendment to say that insurgents, which he was on January 6th, cannot run for public office ever again. So they're using that to keep him out of office. I think that's a good thing to do. Mr. Cawthorn says that the 14th Amendment is uh, obsolete now since it was drawn up after the Civil War. A funny guy to be saying, uh, following the Constitution now, and on January 6th, he was trying to uh, upturn the Constitution. The things that we are wanting to fight for, uh, it doesn't matter if our votes don't count. That's exactly right. Because, you know, if our election systems continue to be rigged and continue to be stolen, then it's, it's going to lead to one place, and that's bloodshed. Another group that supports Donald Trump is MAGA. And who's MAGA? MAGA is the Make America Great Again group, led by, of course, Donald Trump. Uh, he is a de facto leader of the, of the group, which has in recent months been going downhill on him, but he is still their leader. These MAGA people are poor, uneducated Americans who see Donald Trump as a sort of a demigod, but what he really is, is a traitor. These MAGA people seem to believe that since Donald Trump says that he is rich, that somehow they're going to be rich also for him just being there and sitting on his butt in office. But the last four years, or the only four years that he served at the top office, he didn't do anything for anybody but himself and his children, it seems like. But another such group may be just a little bit crazier than MAGA, and that's QAnon. You know them. They're the people who are or were waiting for JFK Jr. to come back and restore Trump to the presidency, even though uh, JFK Jr. was a Democrat. 
Huh, imagine that. A demo comes back from the dead to make Donald Trump a president again. If he would do that, I'm sure that JFK Sr. would come scratching and screaming out of his grave to make sure that didn't happen. These QAnon crazies think that the Democrats are evil and that they kill babies, drink their blood, and then cavort with each other. And get this, Trump is their Superman, working behind the scenes, puts on his cape, and to fight them, on their own ground, child molestation. While the Democrats and Republicans hide behind the scenes and do their evil deeds, Donald Trump is right in front of everybody at the Republican National Convention, touching his daughter on the hips and uh, staring down her dress. So that's okay with them as long as it's personal and Donald Trump isn't out there doing it to other children. But I think he did do it to another girl who was 13 and I'm sure he did it to somebody else. The little production that these idiots put on for the ex-resident who said that this was just a walk in the park per se was actually an attempt to overthrow the United States government and install Donald Trump, the idiot, the court jester, the orange-faced baboon that doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. They wanted to put him back into power. They're even crazier than I thought they were. Merrick Garland says that he will prosecute everybody from top to bottom involved in the insurrection on January 6, 2021. The Justice Department remains committed to holding all January 6 perpetrators at any level accountable under law, whether they were present that day or were otherwise criminally responsible for the assault on our democracy. But he hasn't done a darn thing yet. He sits on his butt up there and collects his, his income, I guess, but because he hasn't been seen doing anything to prosecute these people that caused the insurrection on January 6th, especially the top people. Trump hasn't been indicted. Bannon hasn't been indicted. None of these top people have been indicted for insurrection. So I don't know what Merrick Garland is doing up there. Get off your ass, Merrick Garland. Put these people in jail. That orange suit will go great with that orange face. Before we go, let's look at some of Trump's strongman friends, such as Putin, who is a dictator of Russia, which is not Russia anymore, but Putinsburg. The oligarchs in Russia are stealing so much from the Russian economy that it is in the trash. Now Putin wants to start a war over the Ukraine. Another of his friends, or lovers, should I say, is Kim Jong-un, ruler of North Korea. He is the one starving his people while remaining fat himself. He would rather build nuclear weapons instead of feeding his people. But Trump and Kim Jong-un fell in love through a letter. Another one of Trump's apostates is Ted Cruz from Texas, who of course is a Republican senator. Trump insulted Cruz's wife, Heidi, and before Trump was done, Cruz seems to have agreed with his assessment. He is called Cancun Ted since he left Texas to go to Cancun, Mexico in the midst of a very severe freeze-out in Texas, and then threw his kids under the bus by saying it was their fault, it was their idea to go to Cancun. He stood atop his truck on January 6th, spreading hate and perpetuating the big lie, therefore fueling their insurrection. Now he cowers and makes the flip to say it was insurrection. This guy will turn on a dime, and he wants to be president someday? These are the type of friends that Trump has. Make no mistake, if the Democrats take the Senate, they intend to change this country, not for a year, not for ten years, but for generations. And I'm here to tell you right now, that ain't gonna Happen. Finally, there was Jeffrey Epstein, who was found hanging in a jail cell, which was pretty sketchy since he was on suicide watch, but I won't get into that for now. Suffice to say for now that Trump was his longtime friend, but now doesn't seem to know him at all. But Trump did say that both of them loved young ladies. Jeffrey was on the hook for trafficking of minors when he happened to hang himself in his jail cell. What a bunch of great friends Trump has had. A lively group of perverts and strong men who only are concerned for themselves. So that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by. A new video will be out early next week, so make sure to hit the notification bell. And please subscribe if you like what you see, or even if you don't. You can comment down below, but please be civil. Again, thanks, and remember, we need your vote. <laughs>